Hello and welcome to the second screencast of web automation testing using SahiPro. In this video, we are going to download and install SahiPro on our machine. Now Sahi comes in two different flavors right now, an open source version and a professional version. In this tutorial series, I'll be using the professional version as it has a lot more features than the open source one. You can download a fully functional one month trial for the professional version by registering on the sahipro.com website. Now to download the installer, go to the downloads archive page present on the website. You can download the latest version of sahipro from here by clicking on this particular link. However, in order to get the trial license, you need to register by clicking this link over here. You can register yourself with Sahipro by filling out this particular form and you will receive an email with the Sahipro one month trial license. Now I already have an installer as well as a Sahipro license so I will just go ahead and install Sahi. Once you get the license after registration you will be able to follow the installation process. I have my installer downloaded here and all I need as a prerequisite is Java 1.5 or greater to be installed on my machine. If Java is installed and configured to open jar files, you can install Sahib just by double clicking this particular jar file. If the installer does not launch or if the jar file is opened as if it is a zip file, cancel the unzipping dialog, open the command prompt in the folder by pressing the shift key and right clicking over here. You can see the option for opening the command window here. You can use the command java minus jar and then provide the file name for the Sahipro installer. Once you hit enter, you will get the Sahipro installer. So I have Java configured. And I can just double click on this installer and this is the installation wizard of Sahi. You need to accept the terms of license agreement and then click on the next button. Make sure the directory path you select for the installation doesn't contain any spaces. It may cause issues in launching Chrome later. So I'll select a path and then click on next. I will leave all the default selected packages and click on next. Keep these checkboxes checked if you want to have shortcuts on your desktop as well as the start menu. Click on the next button over here. And that's all. If you selected the option to create shortcut on your desktop, you will now have this icon to launch Sahi. If you double click this, you will get the Sahi console and the dashboard. You will also get a Sahi proxy question which says that Sahi needs to change your proxy settings in order to work with browsers. You can click continue on this. Since this is the first time we are using Sahi and we haven't added any license yet, you will be getting this prompt about invalid or an expired license. You can click on add license over here. Select your license.data file and that's it. Your license file has been added and you can now start using Sahi for recording and playback. You might have noticed that my dashboard just shows three browsers on it. But I have five different browsers installed on my machine. So this brings us to our first configuration change in Sahi. We'll configure other browsers to show up in the dashboard. Now the information about the browsers and their path is stored in a file called browser underscore types.xml present in your user data slash config folder. Throughout this tutorial series, when I mention any folder, it will be relative to your Sahi installation. Now you can manually open the XML file with any text editor and modify it or you can click on the configure link present on the dashboard. This opens up a web based 
editor for the configuration files that are present in Sahi. By default, the file that opens up is browser underscore types.xml. Let us look closely at the contents of this file. There are different browser types defined in this file. You can see that there is a node for Firefox and then there is a node for IE, Chrome, Safari and other browsers as well. Now in my dashboard you can see that I can see IE and Chrome but I can't see Firefox. The reason behind this is the path that is defined for Firefox is not the actual path where my Firefox is installed. So Sahih is not able to find this particular executable on this particular path. To correct this, all I need to do is provide the correct path for Firefox.exe over here. Now I know that my Firefox is present in this particular path. So I can just change this path and click the save button over here. In Sahi, whenever you make any change to the configuration, make sure that you restart Sahi. You can see that Firefox is now present on my dashboard. So now I have Firefox added on my dashboard and similarly I can go ahead and add different browsers to my dashboard which are installed on my machine. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.